Hello and welcome, I'm James Arnold Taylor and it's time to look at the world of Star Wars from a certain point of view. This is the show where Star Wars experts and celebrities discuss and debate the light and dark sides of controversial issues from that galaxy far, far away. Now before introducing our amazing Star Wars guests, let me briefly explain how our show works. Our guests will be presented with, again, a somewhat controversial topic in the world of Star Wars. We'll then take 60 seconds to debate both points of view. When you hear this sound, that means the topic is up. Which opinion is light or dark? Well, that is going to be up to you. Let's meet our guests. You know and love her as the voice of Padme Amidala on Star Wars The Clone Wars, Princess Leia in The Force Unleashed, and Vet in The Old Republic. Yes, the lovely and talented Catherine Tabor. Catherine, how are you? I'm great, and I'm excited to be are here. Are you excited? Is it pretty Fight. cool, right? Oh, get ready. <laughs> well, he's a fighter. He's a writer, director, producer of Hughes The Force and the Comlink Channel right here, Mr. J.C. Reifenberg. Hey, J.C., hey. how are you? It feels like I just saw you. Okay. <laughs> Let's get right to it. Our first topic, you guys understand how it works, right? 60 seconds, you jump in whenever you want. George Lucas had originally developed treatments for episodes 7, 8, and 9, but it was announced that none of his storylines or concepts are going to be in any of these films. Is this right or wrong, JC? Wrong. The definition of wrong. Oh boy, here we go. This is his galaxy. These are his characters. This is his storyline. Let him finish the storyline before you yank it away from him, even if he did give it away it was a sort long time of. ago in a galaxy far far away though, yeah that did that. kind of uh, sounding like a little bit like a whiny fan here because oh. reality he sold it it's not his anymore four billion dollars yeah, but, but if james marries off his daughter does that mean she's no longer his daughter oh, that's a good point uh it's a bad no, analogy no, how about uh if you sell your house you don't get to go back and tell the new owner that they need to keep the landscaping because you really like the cherry tree that you planted. But what if the cherry tree yielded tons of fruit, like billions matter. of dollars worth of fruit, and everybody it, fell in love with it? It doesn't. It is a question it, of that, though. What, are, they, are they gonna change it? Are they gonna go outside of a world that they shouldn't go out of? Well, but that's not ours to decide. It's theirs to decide. I mean, it, it'll be ours to decide whether we like it, I guess. And but. he gave that up. He knew that was part of the consequences when he sold it for four yeah, billion dollars. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, cool. I think yeah. but I think we're out of time on this one. No. This is how it's going to go. Well, what do you think? Make sure you chime in on our social media, thecomlink.com and all of that. Okay, so go ahead. Next topic, <laughs> stop it, cat. <laughs> Empire Strikes Back. Lando Calrissian, administrator of Cloud City, makes a choice to sell out his friends to the Empire. Was this the right thing to do? Mm -hmm. Catherine Tabor? No. Yeah. Look, I love Lando, but um, yeah, you, you never sell out your friends. There was, there's always another choice. He could have but he could then, have let Han on in on what was going on. He was savvy enough to know like they could He has a whole kind of city that signal. he's in charge of though. But right, JC? Those, those weren't the only two choices. No, those are the only two choices. When Darth Vader kicks in the door that you just sold to Walt Disney oh. and says Wait, it's going to wow. be this way or else, you you don't know what you're doing. You're trying to not not wet yourself okay, so when you're staring thing, down this giant there's this thing called integrity oh no no and, the greater and you good don't, you just put a guy himself. in a big black helmet walks no, in and starts deep breathing you don't save your friend's <laughs> life at the expense of risking yeah, millions of lives people, of the people trying it's to man a, it's a false oh. Set up that those were the only two choices, and you can tell that Lando agrees because he feels very guilty later. Mm -hmm. And if he was so happy with this decision, he Look, did come back. Bottom line, no, no, bottom also line, kind of part of his plan. Wasn't and it? bottom line, did Han live? Yes. Did Luke live? Yes. Leia lived, and everybody on Cloud City lived. Everybody uh, wins. WWGLD. What would George Lucas say and do about all this? I don't know. All right, last topic. This is more of a lightning round. Just kind of give us a quick little opinion on this one, okay? Ship you would most want parked in your garage. A-wing, B-wing, X-wing, Y-wing, JC. X-wing. X-wing. Yeah, go X-wing. Cool. First Why? off, it was the best toy growing up. Second, <laughs> you you got R2D2 in the back. Yeah. And uh, you know the wings flip up and open. You got four uh, four guns on it. Is there I, it room just in there the though for a, like a girl a date or anything? He doesn't have to worry about that. Ooh. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> kidding. Brutal. Uh, what, do you, what do you say? Uh, Naboo Cruiser. Sorry, it's silver, it's pretty. pretty. Truly yeah, the pretty daughter cool. of That's Darth Vader right here. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody who'd marry him at the same time. All right. That sounds very George oh, Lucas. Boy, wow. Lucas this, guys, it's, it's time to thank my guest. It was a great discussion. Will you come back and join us? Absolutely. Absolutely okay, yes. good. I know you will. Sure. <laughs> uh, but now it is time for your point of view. Who flies an A-wing? Losers. Here at a certain point of view, we want to know how you feel about our topic, so we put today's online and you responded. Some results may be surprising to you and Cat Tabor. 
Roughly 65% of you said that you thought Disney should use George Lucas's notes and treatments. About 20% were undecided, saying it's hard to say not having seen what his story was. And 15% said GL sold it, it's fair game. So I guess cat people would rather keep that cherry tree in the front yard George Lucas planted than be George Washington and chop it down. But we also got a note from our good friend Brian Young at BigShinyRobot.com who wrote an article about this very issue saying, quote, Disney's using his story treatment, I just think there are some of the finer details that have been altered. In his article, he quotes both Simon Kinberg, creative consultant for Star Wars, and George Lucas. Kinberg told Young, it's definitely a part of the planning of all the different movies, and it was something I was exposed to from the beginning of the process. However, our debate came from the Lucas quote, the ones that I sold to Disney, they came up to the decision that they didn't really want to do those, so they made up their own. So it's not the ones that I originally wrote. So, you could say what we debated was true, from a certain point of view. Now, here's a surprising one. You overwhelmingly agreed with JC once again on the issue of Lando Calrissian being stuck between a rock and a Darth place, arguing that the scoundrel had no choice but to comply. Comlink follower Mike Garrigan put it this way. Lando had no choice. I think everyone got over it when he saved the fleet from crashing into the force field. Yeah, that's a good point. Spencer Theodore brought up a great perspective on our Facebook page. I think, of course, Lando had no choice. It was Han and his friends, or the entire city. We see it as betrayal because we know Han, Leia, Chewie, and 3PO. But I think if the story had been about Lando up until that point, we'd have thought, hey, who are these guys? Why are they bringing the Empire into Cloud City? Ryan Stampfley said, disagree with Darth Vader to help an old friend that scored your ship? Dude, come on. Plus, he had to think of the residents of Cloud City, brah. Hey, make sure you follow us on both Twitter and Facebook pages so you can reply to our topics each week. And please, do us a favor right now. Click on the subscribe button on your screen. Link yourself to us here at the Comlink channel. It costs you nothing, but it brings you great Star Wars news and information, entertainment on a weekly basis. Spread the word. Subscribe. You will subscribe to the Comlink. This is the channel you're looking for. I gotta do it, come on. I'm James Arnold Taylor, thanks for joining us today, and no matter where you fall on our topics, I'm sure we can all agree that the Star Wars universe is awesome from any point of view. The views expressed on a certain point of view are of our guests and not necessarily representative of the Comlink Channel, Unico Inc., Absolute Value Pictures, or their subsidiaries. A certain point of view and the Comlink Channel have no affiliation with Lucasfilm or Disney. All views and comments are for entertainment purposes only and should be enjoyed no matter what your point of view.